Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 954, we're going to talk about Mondrak, the Mono White Glory Dominus. Now, for four mana, we get a 4-4 four, four Phyrexian Horde. This is the White Dominus. Uh, all will be one, gave us one for each color. This is the first one I, I've gotten to. Uh, if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. I mean, I always wanted anointed possession in the command zone. Why not? But it can be killed. Well, actually, for a generic and two Phyrexian white, you can sack two artifacts and or creatures to put an indestructible counter on Mondrak so that it doesn't, you know, die to everything. Now, um, this is... Uh, this is not the best version of Mondrak. It is not. This is the Brian Canada version. Y'all know that. Uh, <laughs> so, um, this is kind of an enchantment themed because I started throwing, uh, you know, token makers out there and I was like, well, this is a lot of enchantments. So, first let's go through our ramp. We have Soul Ring, Thought Vessel, Marble Diamond, Mind Stone, Pristine Talisman, and the Phyrexian Atlas. Now, card draw. Beyond enchantment stuff, I have all the enchantments lumped together. So, it's Staff of the Storyteller. Uh, whenever you create one or more tokens, you put a story counter on this. And ideally, we can spend a white and tap this to draw a card every turn, right? We're making a lot of tokens. Now, um, Mesa Enchantress. Uh, the first in our, our creature line. Now, obviously, this is card draw. Uh, but we do have some, you know, since we're making tokens, we might as well do the Soul Warden thing. And the Suture Priest. Now, there's very little token making that's better than Emira Angel. Just Landfall, make a 1-1, and it's probably not going to be a 1-1 for very long, right? We have our Might Overseer, which is makes our tokens better. Um, we have a Windborn Muse making it harder to hit us. Uh, Silverwing Squadron. Now this is a this is a card that is earning a place in my heart. I know it's six mana, but it's big and I play a lot of big games with six plus players. So when this thing attacks, woo buddy, this is getting some night tokens out there. Now these Oh, Platoon Dispenser. Uh, this is a slot, uh, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it makes some, you know, tokens. Uh, but it does, if you control two or more creatures, you can draw a card at your end step. So, it's white card draw. Uh, these next three are from Warhammer. We have the Space Marine Devastator. Now, Squad is a beautiful ability. You just spend two as many times as you want to when you cast it. And you get copies of it token copies, right? And this comes with a free disenchant attached to each Devastator. Zephyrum, uh, Squad 2, Flying Vigilance, and Miracle, so that you get a chance to play it cheaper. You know? And then we have the kind of Carib uh, Scarab Swarm. Wow, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, when the Scarab Swarm enters the battlefield, exile a graveyard artifact or land exiled this way you get a token. Now, I know Helm of the Host is slow rolling tokens. Uh, it's best on Urza. We all know that, but it's still, it's a token generating. Um, launch the fleet. Just getting a lot of soldier tokens in there. And b because keep in mind, the idea is to have Mondrak out so that we get double our tokens, right? Well, if we also have our anointed procession, we've jumped into the enchantments in case. Uh, you know, that's double and then double again, which is amazing. I love quadruple. Uh, intangible virtue is going to help the cause out by giving them plus one in vigilance. Yeah, you know it's in here. Now we lean heavy into the enchantment theme with Sigil of the Empty Throne. Uh, so now you play an enchantment, you get a 4 4 angel. Which, by the way, uh, at the end I want to show you all these tokens because, oh, they're beautiful. Uh, Divine Sacrament is going to pump your team. Late Game is going to pump your team even more, and it, it's an enchantment. Scrub's Hive, enchantment makes tokens. 
Um, Sacred Mesa, enchantment that makes tokens. Divine Visitation, enchantment that makes your tokens baller. You know, so now your 1-1 one, one soldiers and your whatever are 4-4 four, four angels. So that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, shielded by Faith. I mean, this is really good. Uh, it's... It was an old school enchantment card that in white that we used to play, uh, you know, in the EDH days before it became Commander, but it's still good. Uh, Court of Grace. Uh, Monarch is, I like to introduce the Monarch, um, mainly because it's another card draw for white, and hey, you get tokens. Enlightened Tutor, of course, to find the pieces that you need. Uh, Sarah's Blessing, another shot at Vigilance. Sphere of Safety is remarkable than any kind of enchantment deck. So is Crystal Chimes to get them back, because somebody's packing an enchantment wipe of some kind, right? Uh, Armor Ascension. I mean, there's been times when I've just had Mondrak, and you know they've killed all, all the little, and I draw Armor Ascension. I'm like, well, I'll just get there with Commander damage. So the Armor Ascension... Um, Ethereal armor, you know, all that glitters, spirit mantle, so it can't be blocked. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, now, hollowed haunting is a, you know, <laughs> that's a great constellation effect. Uh, Skybind. Now, I want to talk about flickering ward. Now, flickering ward, I think, does not get enough love in enchantment decks because it's one to cast one to return enchanted creature has pro chosen color now that's that's big game because a lot of times when you do protection from whatever color it, it it's relevant here very versatile you get to choose your color and you get to bounce it back if you need that to proc your card draw triggers your enchantment fall triggers so it is very possible for a sum total of one to cast and one to bounce, that's two mana, to start making 4-4 four, four Angels. I know there's the other two mana card that does it, but I didn't have that. So, Story Circle, similar but not. I mean, it has no way to bounce. You're hardcore going to be just that color. But that got me thinking. Rune of Protection Black. Now, these are enchantments, so they will proc our enchantment triggers if we need them. Uh, if there is a black source, I mean, you know, single white mana, prevent all damage from black source. People are not prepared to deal with. Uh, the runes are the Urza Saga version of the circle, the original circles of protection. But it added cycling two, which is not bad. I mean, I, I did put them all in here. Black, green, blue, red and white, and I'm upset I didn't do that in Wuber order. But anyway, um, so you can cycle them away to draw something if you need to, but the times I've played this deck, it has actually mattered, and, you know, Commander's a multiplayer format. Most times, all colors are represented, and if you can, you know, hold that up, it, it's it's a beautiful thing. Reborn Defense is going to keep your team alive. Uh, now, Removal. Spot removal, of course, sword to plowshare, vow of duty, good enchantment spot removal, uh, disenchant, dispatch, which needs to be a path, you know, it is holding a spot for a path. Then we have our board wipes, uh, mass removal, because a lot of them, like White Sun Twilight, is mass removal and you make tokens. Uh, Martial Coup comes to mind. Uh, Phyrexian Rebirth. Now, you only get one really giant token, but... Uh, and then Hour of Reckoning is the, you know... <laughs> it's the white made for the mono-white token deck, right? I mean, come on. So, b because there again, beyond Mondrak, eh, you're not really messed up about losing anything else, right? So... We've got Fumigate, which can, whew, yeah, that can put you up there if you need to gain some life. Uh, Wrath of God, 
Flaner Outburst and Winds of Wrath. Of course, that's beautiful uh, if you happen to have Mondrak Enchanted. Uh, now, three non-basic lands. They're not anything special. A uh, couple of Cycling Lands and Drifting Meadow and Secluded Step, and then Castle Ardenvale. But I want to talk about the tokens. Um, as y'all know, this past month, Mr. John Stanko had came to the shop here for a benefit modern tournament that uh, we help put on, the, well, we hosted. And this good buddy of mine, Jim, got me this uh, angel token autographed by John and also got a bird. Uh, I got a bunch more tokens, but those are the only ones. I mean, obviously there was no fire action mics. He didn't do that one, but... Um, Got the ones that, but that, that angel token is just, I mean, John has done, I don't know, a whole bunch of cards, 60, 70, 80 cards, something like that. He's here, great guy, super nice, if you ever have a chance. He did uh, to the or all other stuff. Um, always something going on here at the CCG, so uh, be sure to look us up. We're a short drive globally from anywhere. <laughs> uh, but I do appreciate y'all watching, liking, subscribing, and uh, we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut.